Hey guys, it's Mike back with another fragrance review and today I want to talk about Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. First thing I'm going to tell you, get it while you can. I have heard from some pretty reliable sources that it's being discontinued and for the life of me I cannot figure out why anyone would want to discontinue this fragrance. This is, I did this as a blind buy and um, you know that can go either way. I, I make some videos on some of the worst blind buys I've made. Um, the thing is, I gotta tell you, this is probably in my top five fra favorite fragrances that I own. Um, in fact, it's up there with probably one of the best I've ever smelled in my life. I love it. In fact, um, yesterday was my first real test with this fragrance. Um, and uh, I wore it to work. It's kind of cold here in Michigan. The thing is, is um, it is just, it's awesome. I, I gotta tell you, it's, it's an awesome fragrance. Um, super, super long lasting. I, I can still smell it. And it's been almost 24 hours and it's, it, it's still, prominent it's like the silage is still there it's it's not just something that uh you know i can still smell like skin scent it, it's like if i were to start perspiring right now start working out i would definitely pick this up right now um last night even while i was sleeping every time i woke up i could still smell it uh when i was working it was just rolling off of me and it's such a beautiful scent too it's um classified you know uh in the fragrance community as a clubbing fragrance but let me tell you something this is a beautiful man's fragrance and i've even heard some people say that it's unisex i i don't know it, to each his own i think it's rides closer to the the men's side of the spectrum um this fragrance it is expensive and i, I gotta tell you it's rightfully so um it's worth every penny I, I don't know where you'll pick it up um, there's some suggestions here. This is the, um, what size is this? This is the 4.2 ounce bottle. So it's like 125 ml. I, um, I'm, I'm almost certain I paid around $90 for this. I found it on a, a discount site. Um, Bloomingdale's has it for $98. Macy's has it for $98. Belk has it for $98. Fragrancenet.com has it for $92.99. There's multiple sizes of it. You know, I, I could go grab, you know what, I'll do that. If you guys would give me one second, hold on. Um, I'm just gonna pause this. I'll go grab the, the thing it came in and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So here is the container it comes in. Obviously if you order it online, you're gonna get it in a box and then inside the box you'll have this container. Now, um, the smaller bottles, you'll notice it doesn't have this felt platform that the, the bottle sits neatly in. Um, it has a clear plastic one, but this is the, the bigger bottle and it goes in there. So it sits perfectly in there like that. And then, you know, the top of the can goes right there. I couldn't find it in me to throw this can away. I mean, it's just iconic, something I think I'll keep. Um, I, I like it, um, you know, so I just keep it on my shelf with the, the, the fragrances that I, that I, you know, stockpile. But anyway, I, I got to tell you guys, I'll go over the notes on this and everything, but I just, I'll tell you what, I don't care if you buy it or not. I'm telling you, and I told you before, I'll never try to sell you guys anything that sucks. This stuff is worth every penny. Uh, it's one of the best I've ever smelled in my life, I'm telling you. I um, I like uh, this little guard here too, and I'll tell you, um, this stuff's kind of expensive, like I said, but to me, like, it's up there with, with Creed. It's up there with Spice Bomb Extreme. It's up there with you know, it's uh, Chanel and this, wow, what a masterpiece. I can't believe they're going to discontinue this. This is 
stupid for them to discontinue this product. It's, I don't know, maybe other companies are trying to pay them to discontinue it because it's so good. In the fragrance community, I've not seen one negative comment about this fragrance. It lasts forever. It's a beast mode projector. I'm going to waste the spray. Oh, man. The note of pear, very noticeable. And um, it, it's hard to describe what does a pear smell like. But let me tell you something. It's there. But, you know, let, let me go over the notes. This is just the most beautiful fragrance, I'm telling you. Um, the notes are... Everything a man would want in a fragrance, um, I got to tell you. So, first of all, it's classified as, well, here's the main accords, okay? Vanilla, yep, right away. Fruity, yep, right away. Cinnamon, maybe in the mid or dry down, but warm, spicy, mid and dry down. A little bit spicy um, on, you know, first application. Aromatic, um, aquatic powdery amber and green and man have they done it man they they've managed to put it all together and th this fragrance it's not subtle it comes at you and um it's just so perfectly balanced and wow just a great fragrance and it, man it just performs when you start to perspire or like uh, that's why i believe it's a great clubbing fragrance because if you were on a dance floor this thing would go active nuclear i'm telling you and it's not, it's nothing rude. It's beautiful. Um, you know, everyone seems to love it. It does have a couple dislikes, which I can't even imagine. But out of 3,876 votes, it gets a 4.25 out of 5. This is for Granica. It's best for cold and then spring. A little bit hot. If you're going to wear it in hot weather, I'd do it at night. Um, and then fall and you know night of course anyway um ultra male by jean paul gaultier is an original uh, i'm sorry it's an oriental fougere fragrance for men ultra male was launched in 2015 and the nose behind the fragrance was francis kurgen and the top notes are pear lavender mint bergamot and lemon the mid notes are cinnamon caraway and clary sage base notes are black vanilla musk amber patchouli and cedar and um, the fragrance is a reinterpretation or enhanced version of the popular original La Mail from 1995. Ultra Male announced as masculine, intense, seductive, and at the same time delicate. It's supposedly built on contrast notes and is a spicier version of the original. It opens with citrus notes of bergamot along with juicy pear, black lavender, and mint. The heart includes spices of cumin and cinnamon with uh, aromatic clary sage. The base notes consist of black vanilla, amber, and woods. It's signed by Francis Kurgen. And the face of the advertising campaign is model Jared Scott. The fragrance arrives in a char characteristic torso bottle. This um, time colored in this time colored in dark blue with black stripes. It is available in 40, 75, and 125 ml. EDT Intense. Wow. And guys, I got to tell you, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't, the, you know, I told you I wore it to work. And let's see, I, I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like nine or 10 sprays. And the thing is, is I work alone. Uh, I had one residential stop last night and I could tell, man, this lady was loving it. It wasn't overpowering. It was just beautiful because it was real crisp and cold outside, probably below 40 degrees here in Michigan. And um, I went in and I did some tile work for her. And uh, she stayed off in a different room because of the situation. You know, everybody's wearing a mask and stuff. But this is one you're going to smell it through a mask. And, you know, she was very polite, but I could tell she was just uh, very attracted to the to the fragrance you know she was I'll tell you man with my job that it's important that you smell good um, and I, I do meet a lot of people out there and it's just I'll tell you what I can go over these reviews here I just go over a couple real quick I know this video is going kind of long I, I just I want you guys to get a hold of this one while you can and this is just 
because I care that much, if you're into fragrances and, um, you know, you, if you, if you're looking for, for advice on what's good, you know, for the price, this is a gold mine. I'm telling you right now, you got to get it while you can. It's, and it'll go up the, you know, as supplies dwindles, if they do discontinue this, it's going to get super expensive. I'm telling you. Um, I don't want you to miss out. I really don't want you to miss out. So, uh, here's a couple, um, here's a couple, uh, re reviews. Um, okay. An official statement by JPG. If you love this stuff, stock up before it gets expensive. It's discontinued. Uh, and I can't even believe that. Um, Mr. Versatile, um, by Yash Vardhan. Um, thank you so much for this creation. Um, let's directly dive into my explanation of how it smells. You can check my profile and closet here on Fragranica. Uh, a playboy period. The sexiest guy in a group wearing a modern winter outfit looks very playful as well as hard to pick up at the same time. All the sexy girls in the group are trying to find reasons to go near him just to get a small wave of this fragrance at small intervals and end up thinking about him for a long period of time. The best response I got so far is I feel like I'm going to eat you tonight and her facial expressions were really determined, LOL. It's a compliment beast in suitable scenarios. I most get, I mostly get very smooth and erotic compliments from girls with ultra male and not very loud and energetic compliments like Versace Eros. It's really gourmand in a bubbly, gummy way. I would not wear this fragrance in the club during summertime as you can choke people with too much sweetness, but it's a beast in the club for fall and winter. This guy will be the most offending smelling guy for the same scenarios in the summertime. So please watch out and get Versace Eros EDT for summer and keep this for cooler, cooler weather. Um, Next is Sexy Beast. This one is a gem, a must have in any collection. Uh, the next one says Iconic Cologne, whether you like it or not, very unique scent, I agree. Uh, performance and silage are amazing, well worth the money. Try in store before buying, not all men or women will like this bubblegum sweet scent, disagree. Uh, versatility is limited, but you know that going in. Uh, 10 out of 10 for what it does. I think it's classy. Hopefully, it does not get discontinued. Uh, here's another one. Best selling fragrance from JPG can't be discontinued. It is really, if it's really discontinued, post the official link here coming from uh, announcing that they're going to discontinue. Whoever creates this rumor. Well, oh, you know, I hope, I hope it is just a rumor, guys. I really do. Um, it's a beast, uh, wore this out today. Some friends I sprayed way too much, five sprays, but still got compliments. I would say two to three is more than enough with this stuff. Very strong and in your face, powerful, um, muscularly sweet, whatever that means. Uh, the vanilla note threw me off a bit, but once I got used to it, I'm going to stop with the reviews guys. Cause I'm telling you, it's awesome stuff. Um, Maybe it's not going to be discontinued, and I hope not, but pick it up. Trust me. Take my word for it. You're not going to go wrong with this one. Shoot, the bottle alone is something you're going to want to keep. Look at that. I mean, it's 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 awesome. It's going to look good on your shelf. Um, you know, I've used it quite a bit of it in the couple of wearings that I have, and it's not even put a dent in the bottle. I mean, 4.2, 120, 125 ml. Uh, and, you know, I have enough fragrances. Like I would alternate this one with uh, Y Yves Saint Laurent um, EDP. Um, I'll alternate it with Savage EDP, um, Versace Eros. I'll alternate it with that, and uh, you know uh, even Dolce Gabbana the One EDP. Um, and you know there, I got a couple of others that I'll alternate this with. That way I just don't destroy it. But I'll tell you what, I, I look for situations to wear this in. If you really want to stand out. If you if if you wanna if you're gonna go hang out with the fellows and you just wanna be the best smelling one in the bunch, dude, trust me, this is the one for you. Um, yeah, again, I'm very happy with it. It was a blind buy. 
Um, but every review I saw on it, every video I saw on it, people raved about it. It was just some great stuff. So uh, I suggest you pick it up. You know, um, fragrancenet.com, they offer a 37% discount right now. I would grab it. I would grab it so fast if I were you. So, all right, I'll see you next time, guys. Good luck with your purchases.